Good afternoon. A British man has died after plunging from the sixth floor of a building in Parma in front of horrified tourists. Police are investigating the incident after the alarm was raised at around 2 p.m. yesterday. It was not immediately clear if the 64-year-old was resident in Mallorca or a holidaymaker. The ongoing probe is being led by a national police homicide unit, although there is no suggestion at this stage that the death is being treated as suspicious. A well-placed source said the death wasn't being treated as a crime at this stage, although investigators were still awaiting the results of an autopsy. A witness is to have told police the man plunged from the skylight of a car park in the centre of Palmer near to the well-known Saratoga Hotel. Several tourists at the hotel are said to have witnessed the fall. Emergency responders were unable to do anything to save the man. A Marbella court has ordered the provisional imprisonment of the German skipper of the boat arrested recently after colliding with the jet ski and killing its rider. The Andalusia High Court made the announcement saying it was initially being charged with an alleged crime of manslaughter due to negligence. Several people alerted emergency services that there was a boat sailing recklessly in the area of the boys where the rental jet skis were. The captain of the boat, which was carrying another person, was escorted to the port of Marbella, where local police officers carried out tests to detect alcohol and drugs on both men. According to sources, the 34-year-old German man tested positive on a breathalyzer with a result of more than one milligram per litre of exhaled air. That's four times the legal limit for car drivers. The drug test also detected the presence of two narcotics, although the results must be confirmed in a laboratory. Spanish manufacturing activity grew for a seventh consecutive month in August, although at the slowest pace during the time whilst business confidence was at its lowest. So far this year, so a survey showed this morning. The Purchasing Managers Index for the manufacturing sector stood at 50.5 in August, down from 51 in July and 52.3 in June. It was the seventh consecutive reading above 50 that separates growth from contraction. The slowdown is consistent with what is happening in the rest of Europe. And Pablo Castorio claimed his second stage win at the Vuelta Espana yesterday, whilst Primoz Roglic moved closer to the overall leader Ben O'Connor, despite a 20-second penalty for sheltering behind a team car. Castorio grabbed the 15th stage victory after a mountainous 143-kilometre route over three peaks to a special category summit finish. Riders will get a rest day today, and the race finishes in Madrid on September the 8th. That's the latest from TRE. I'm Bob James.